Hi, I'm Steve Good and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. I'm going to put together this short video tonight to talk about a question I get pretty often and that is how to resize the scroll saw patterns that I make available. And there are several ways to do this and I'm going to show you two tonight uh, that are pretty easy to use and both can be free. One's always free, the other is uh, free for my patterns but if you want to use it for other patterns it might cost you a little bit of money. Um, the first thing I want to do is here we are on my website and let me stop for a second because I'm still kind of recovering from this code and my vo voice is kind of coming and going so excuse me if I have to stop every few minutes here. Okay if you're on my website and you have a pattern and you open it up by clicking on the free pattern download button it'll come up in the Adobe Reader um, window and you have the option from here to print this pattern of course you can scroll through it and see it so let's say we scroll through it and we see this pattern right here but we've made up our mind that we don't want it to be the size that it is here on this page now not all patterns will work well resized uh, some are better than others and in this case this little candle holder is designed where these cutouts right here are the same size of a tea light so if we expand this pattern very large uh, of course the tea light candles are going to get lost inside these holes so this might not be a great uh, selection but you'll get an idea from uh, what you see here how to do it okay once you get the Adobe pattern opened up you can click up here on print and you'll see over here in the display window that it shows a preview of the three different pages of this pattern and of course the only page we really need to increase the size of is page three so we go ahead and can scroll to that page and see what we've got and instead of having the page size and sizing and handling uh, set to size we can come over here and set it to poster and when we do it'll take that 100 percent size pattern and put it over two sheets of paper which obviously wouldn't be ideal if we were going to print it at 100 percent we'd be better off just to print it on one sheet of paper but if we get it over here and we change the tile scale to say something like 300 percent you can see what it does it'll redraw that uh, pattern over one two three four five different pages and so now we could print this out and we would get all 15 of these pages printed out and we could tape them back together apply it to our wood and cut it out so that's one way of setting the uh, scale of the size of the pattern you want to print out obviously you can see from this example right here that we have a lot of wasted sheets of paper first of all we don't need this text on either side of it really and the rest of these pages are going to be blank so we definitely don't need those well you don't really have any great options here for changing that um, so there's another uh, avenue that you can look at that is really a nice program and I'm going to back up here a couple years ago uh, Patrick Roberts contacted me and he's a gentleman that uh, has a site called or he actually started out with a desktop program called Rapid Resizer and it was used by a bunch of people in the uh, stained glass art societies and uh, I think some of the fabric designers and stuff use this pattern and it's made to load a pattern and then resize it to any size you want basically what we just did now he gave me the option at that point when he contacted me of allowing my readers to resize their patterns for free on a website version of his program that he had set up and uh, that was you know a really nice offer and so I took uh, the interface that he gave me uh, for allowing that to happen and actually wrote a little program here that will interface with his website so let me uh, shut this down and start it over again so it's blank and it's it's a very simple little program I wrote it basically just has two text inputs here a load pattern button and a resize pattern so now this only works with patterns you've downloaded from my site uh, if you want to use this with other patterns then he has options on his website where you can pay a yearly fee and use it for anything you want but this is just kinda of uh, his generous offer to the readers of the scroll saw workshop so let's say we go to load patterns and we've got all the patterns we've downloaded from my site in a directory and I'm gonna go over here and find one and uh, this fairies uh, it's called three fairies is the name of the pattern and uh, let's say right now you can tell that it's probably about seven inches tall and we want it to be much bigger than that because we're going to cut it out so what we can do is we can open this pattern up and scroll to the page that we want to resize in this case we can see if we look up here 
it's changing the page number up here so once we get to this page number we know it's page number three so in the page number dialog we can simply type the number three now all we have to do is hit the resize pattern and what my program does is it will go out and contact the rapid resizer online website the rapid resizer website will download that same pattern you just looked at from my website and that's how he knows it's one of my patterns uh, so again, if you choose a different pattern or one you didn't get from my website, this will not work this way. You'll have to do it another way. So once that uh, pattern gets uh, drawn in from my website, my server, it'll be displayed here on the screen. Now, in this case, I've already got it set up to be at 125%. It usually defaults to 100%, which is exactly what it was in the uh, Adobe um, program I just showed you and again because we're doing a poster effect it starts it out as 100 percent but printed over two different pages and again this wasn't you know at 100 percent you just want to print it out normally you wouldn't want to use this program to do it but again let's say we wanted to do 300 percent okay it will give us the same 15 sheets or however many we got here yeah 15 sheets it just happened to be the same as the other pattern and we could print this out and again uh, have our pattern and we would have some wasted sheets of paper not as many in this case because we got patterns kind of falling over into the edges but one of the reasons to use uh, this site instead of the Adobe program is this gives you more options and one of the options it has down here is crop to resize precisely so it will load this pattern in and give you the ability to crop around this pattern to get only the parts of the paper that you need so if we scroll down here you can see we're getting inside the pattern there so we need to stay outside the pattern down here and over here we're a little bit inside of it let's see about where we are about right there where we at at the top and let's see where we are at the bottom. we could come up a little bit at the bottom so it allows you to resize or crop around this pattern and then once we get it cropped out to where we want you can see we've eliminated this uh, part of the word over here that we don't really need anyway uh, so now we can go up here and we can hit crop <laughs> and it will crop that image to the size that's more precisely bounded around that and once it finishes reloading the preview you can see we've got it all cropped out now it's set for the next step to resize we can hit on go and that will take us back to the rapid resizer and give us that pattern that's that's closer representative of the actual size of the pattern so now we can go back up here to percent we can go back to 300 percent in this case we probably won't save much paper uh, instead of 15 sheets we're down to what is that uh, 10 sheets so you know we did pretty good we saved quite a bit of paper so you can see that that's a much better option than just using the poster effect in Adobe Reader uh, this program this online website gives you other options and let me just go into one or two of them here let's go to um, let's see let's go to color and that will take the pattern that we loaded from my website and it will give us the option to change some of the attributes of the colors and it's running just a little bit here slow here tonight it's usually much faster than this um, but when it loads it in here you can see up here it still tells you it's loading the design so it always lets you know what it's doing <clears throat> And it brings a pattern in what we can do is we could select the white come over here and click in the gray and eliminate that gray so you know if you're really conservative on the amount of ink you want to use in your printer you could come in here take all this gray out I personally like the gray because it helps me see the pattern better but some people don't like that so you know here's a way to get rid of that if you you know if that's what you want to do uh, so it gives you other options like that that the Adobe uh, program doesn't give you uh, that in my opinion makes his rapid resizer online uh, more valuable uh, let's see let's see let's see what can we do here um, anyway let me go back to the main part of the program and see if there's anything else I want to show you here uh, we can rotate uh, say I think the save ink just simply tries to go through and eliminate any real dark areas of the pattern uh, in this case I don't think it did much there I guess it was looking for black let's see what else we have that I can show you uh, up here 
you can set it from inches to feet or centimeters. Uh, I get some of my European readers, uh, you know, like to do things in the millimeters and centimeters, so maybe that'll be helpful for you. You can also use this button right here to select different parts of the pattern you want to resize. And this is a little awkward to use, but basically use this line to try to cover the top right and the and the or the top left and the bottom right of the pattern, and uh, it'll go through and break it up like that. Uh, let's see, we can do skew. I don't know. Not too many other things. You can add page numbers to each page to keep them in order. Um, and oh, there's another thing I can't remember how to do right now, but it'll allow you to change the black outline to a red outline. And I have a lot of readers that request that I do my patterns in red outline. And I don't like to do that because I use a laser, a black and white laser printer to print my patterns because to me it looks better. Uh, but some people do like the red outline, so you could use this pattern to change that if you want. So anyway, I don't want to get too much more involved into it because it's becoming a little bit too comp more complicated than I wanted it to seem. Uh, but anyway, you have two options to resize the pattern. You can resize them within the Adobe Reader print dialog. Uh, by selecting the poster button or you can download my rapid resizer interface to the rapid resizer online page and load your pattern and select the page number you want to resize and have it sent to their website now again this will allow this print dialog to be free for anything that you print you can however if you have a lot of other patterns you can um, pay a yearly fee and it'll show you the pro designer or basic versions and the features you get and how much it'll cost you to sign up and it's nineteen dollars a year for the basic version which gives you an unlimited number of resizings um, allows you to save when you're in you know this tells you all the features over here you'll you'll see but anyway in the post on tonight's blog i'll have a link to this rapid resizer interface that you can download and use um, I will also, within the next day or two, get it posted on the blog on the front page so you'll be able to find it uh, after this post rolls off the blog. So I'm Steve Good. I hope this helps a little bit. Sorry about my voice uh, kind of giving away on me here. Uh, hopefully I'll be over this cold by this weekend. Uh, we'll catch you next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.